Welcome back to the channel. This is Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer, and we've got a full lineup of Starfield info to run through, ranging from a new credible leak all the way up to New Egg jumping the gun. This one's going to come fast and without all the fluff, so let's get into it all. As I mentioned in my first Starfield upload from a few days ago, I plan on making this a staple in my upload rotation, so if you haven't already done so, please take a moment to hit that big, beautiful subscribe button and ring the notifications bell to receive my latest Starfield upload alerts. Likes, comments, and shares are also greatly appreciated. And so, let's start this one up with New Egg jumping the gun. Hot on the heels of the AMD Starfield exclusive PC partnership announcement, Newegg apparently got a bit trigger happy and decided to hit the live button on their AMD Game Bundle promo store. Now it's unclear if Newegg caught the error themselves or possibly Xbox gave them the notice, but the promo page has since been taken down. Luckily, techpowerup.com did grab some screenshots while it was live and the gist of this bundle is by buying an AMD CPU you get a digital download of Starfield included. Allegedly, everything in the mainstream Zen 4 lineup will be included in these promo bundles, ranging from the entry-level Ryzen 5 7600 all the way up to the Ryzen 9 7950X 3D. Staying along these same lines as AMD, and according to Pure Dark, a popular modder specializing in upscaler implementations, and NVIDIA DLSS in particular, they are publicly stating that they'll see to it that Starfield supports NVIDIA's upscaler before the game's five-day early access period is up. Now, I covered this topic on the performance differences in AMD's FSR versus NVIDIA DLSS in my last Starfield upload, and as someone that has a Franken rig using both an AMD processor with an NVIDIA GPU, I'm really glad to see this. According to GamesRant, who ran with this article a few days ago, Pure Dark is stating that the first version of their mod would be targeted at the DLSS 3.0 package, which is the frame generation feature, limited to RTX 4000 series GPUs. Only after this release will they then be able to go back and implement the mod for the DLSS 2.0 upscaler, which is used by RTX 2000 series cards on up. Now overall, for anyone that prefers upscaling options, this is superb news. And too bad DLSS couldn't be added back into my old favorite, that 1080 Ti. I really miss that card. Shifting gears, and we finally have the file size needed to install Starfield onto our hard drives. And while not absurd, Starfield will indeed stretch some gaming systems to their absolute maximum capacities. According to the Xbox Store, Starfield is weighing in at a hefty 125 gigs for the entire game file, and this will be stretched even further in the future with updates, like the first story expansion, Shattered Space. Now this could really cause some dilemmas for current Xbox Series S owners as the standard hard drive size is just 512 gigs with 364 gigs of usable space. And this may lead to some tough decisions. What games to keep and what has to go to make room for Starfield. With the game set to go live in just under two months, it might be a good time to do some inventory management and if needed to install a beefier hard drive. And now on to the latest in leaks for Starfield, and since this one's pretty much made all the rounds on the internet, I'll include the artwork in the video. Now, it's a bit unclear where these shots actually came from, but they apparently originated on the Defining Duke server, and were then grabbed and reposted onto Twitter, and then onto Reddit. Either way, they're out there now, and there's so much to grab and dissect from these screenshots. We can see the rarity of the loot item being shown. In this case, it's a piece of armor that's been looted from a downed UC security officer, and there's clearly some sort of passive effect. In this case, it's minus 25% oxygen consumption, which could absolutely play into to how stamina is consumed while wearing this piece. The HUD is showing Jemison, and according to the compass, New Atlantis is showing up directly behind us. There's also a blood pool clearly showing up on the ground, and we've seen blood in previous content, like the Starfield Direct, but here it tends to look a bit more natural. 
Of course, the weapon at the heart of this leak is this AK, and previously we've seen this one in live action work during that same Starfield Direct presentation. Finally, there is this fast travel pop-up showing that it is indeed available directly through the missions menu. Now this second shot shows just a loading screen with the name of Dustin, leading some to speculate that these screenshots came from Destin at IGN. But more importantly, the size and scale of the text has led some to theorize that this confirms there will be ultra-wide support included in Starfield, which has not yet been officially confirmed. And finishing up the news for today is the announcement by Xbox that they will be attending Gamescom 2023, and there's a lot to speculate here just based off of the dates and language. Xbox's Aaron Greenberg announced her attendance with this tweet. Excited to be heading back to Gamescom this year to see so many faces, familiar and new. Our teams have been working hard on our show floor presence and more. This will be a special year. Looking forward to sharing even more details soon. Pay special attention to those dates as Gamescom takes place August 23rd through the 27th, just days before the launch of Starfield. Also, the language used by Greenberg shows a bit more excitement than normal. Xbox tends to keep their messaging on the conservative side, perhaps to not overpromise and underdeliver, but this tweet is meant to create some serious buzz, especially the this will be a special year line. At this point, we should expect Starfield to be in attendance and be the major draw at the Xbox space, along with the next Forza title. What else might be shown? Will there be any playable demos? Could Starfield have stands to get in something like five minutes with the game? Who knows, but as more details become available, I will of course bring them to the channel. Thanks for sticking around, and if you haven't done so already, please take a moment to smash that sub button and ring the notifications bell to receive my latest upload alerts. Likes, comments, and shares are also greatly appreciated. You can find and follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and in my Open Community Discord server, links to all of which can be found in the video description. Shout out to the now nearly 125,000 of you that have taken the leap and hit subscribe. And as always, a special thanks goes out to my patrons over on Patreon. Until the next one, this is Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer, signing off.